Hello everybody, it's ShardGVLP here, back again with another video on this channel. So today, we are actually here, we're going to be reviewing the McLaren Speedtail today. Um, this is actually a really nice looking car, I don't even have it on my main account, I was going to buy it, but I didn't end up buying it, because if I sold the Roadster and then got this, I would have just lost way too much money. But uh, yeah, also, before I do actually get into it, um, I am using my friend's account again, so shout out to him. Uh, and yeah, let's get into the review. So, this thing is actually like really nice looking it's pretty i'm pretty sure it's like one of the fastest cars in the world actually so it's pretty sick it has like some really nice headlights as well they're like 3d in a way um same as the rear end of the tail lights really nice this thing actually has no number plate i don't even know how that works but yeah it's pretty sick um it's got this nice like like not grill uh like hoods i don't even know like it's kind of like a hood scoop, I guess. I don't really know. But yeah, it's pretty unique, honestly. I actually do really like the look of this thing. It just looks really quick and, and overall really nice. Uh, it's actually quite long as well, to be honest. Um, for all, like a car like this, it's actually pretty long. But I mean, it is called the Speed Tail, so it kind of does make sense. Um, unique thing about this car is that the steering wheel is actually straight through the middle of the car. So as you can see, there's literally... Oh, well, there are seats at the back. I don't think there's seats at the back in real life. Mistake. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, except in real life, there's literally a seat in the middle, and your steering wheel is straight in the middle of the car, which is really unique. It kind of just gives you that illusion, like, I don't really know, it's just, it's just a really cool feature, I guess. So, yeah, but anyways, uh, instead of me rambling on, uh, like, a lot, uh, let's review the, uh, startup sound. So, honestly, not too good of a startup sound. It's, like, I've heard the startup sound multiple times before, so it's not too good but it's not bad either so yeah all right anyways guys, let's get into the blinkers test so pretty decent i actually quite like how it just goes down there that's really nice then we have the headlights and the tail lights too so pretty good we have the horn pretty basic there uh so yeah pretty good overall let's get into the driving test so yeah uh but yeah this thing's extremely long especially when you actually get into it and it is also very fast. This thing almost feels like a Tesla Roadster, if not the same. I mean, just, like, it's so quick, dude. The acceleration is absolutely insane. Um, it also has, like, those pop-up wings. It kind of reminds me of the Huraiwa, in a way. Uh, I probably botched that pronunciation a lot, but yeah. Uh, it also it almost reminds me of that, in a way, so it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's extremely fast. As you guys can see there, like, the speedometer is literally just going crazy there. I'm actually just going to get to the top speed right here. So it goes about 258. Let's just run that to 260. So it's actually faster top speed than the $2 million Tesla Roadster. So it's extremely fast. Um, handling's a bit eh. It's not, the handling's not that good. Uh, the $2 million Tesla Roadster honestly has better handling than this thing. Uh, because I'm pretty sure they did actually end up fixing it on the Roadster. Which is pretty good. But yeah, it, it spits some pretty nice flames too. Uh, but yeah, let's do a quick 0 to 60 here. So in 3, 2, 1... So that was extremely quick. I don't know if that was as fast as the Tesla Roadster, except it was definitely up there. Uh, probably one of the fastest 0 to 60s I've actually done before. So pretty good, honestly. Um, so it's honestly like a really good car. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend this thing for a daily driver. This thing is way too quick to be a daily driver. But for a flexing car, this car is definitely a go-to. Like, it's it's really good. And it is more, but it is more expensive than... The uh, two million dollars Tesla Roadster, which is a slight downside, but overall not too bad, honestly. And for the performance that you're getting from this thing, it's actually pretty worth it. So yeah. Alright, guys. So now I'm gonna head into the dealership and like review the prices and stuff like that. And overall, just give my like full ratings on this thing. So yeah, if you go to the sports over here, you should just be able to see it right down here. So. Uh, it only has one trim, which is the coupe, and then the bi-color five-split spoke rims. Uh, it costs 2.250k, no, it costs, okay, uh, it costs $2,250,000, uh, so pretty hefty price. It's only like 250000 more, though, than the 2 million Tesla Roadster, and overall, I would honestly recommend this thing more than getting the 2 mil Roadster, uh, because it also has an engine as well, which is definitely an upside. Um, it's got a lot of colors here. Obviously, you can change it in the garage, but it's always good to just have the colors right here, where you can just change them, uh, so it's pretty sick. So... Yeah, but overall, it's actually a really good car. Um, how much would I rate it out of 10? Probably an 8 out of 10, honestly. Uh, the reason why I'm not rating it like a 9 or a 10 is because it's not very good for a daily driver. Um, and it's mainly just used for a flex car, pretty much. So, yeah. But that's still a very good score um, compared to a lot of other cars 
that I review. Uh, but yeah, so pretty good, honestly. Uh, what I recommend getting this thing if you have the money for it, and if you don't really like, if you're not grinding at all for anything, um, and all that, then I would definitely recommend getting this thing because it's actually very, very worth it. So, uh, yeah, but anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, see you later, guys, and goodbye.